Hello everyone and thank you for visiting our channel. Today we are going to explain you how to register Altair Wireless Bell Packs to an Altair Wireless Base Station. Um, most of the times when you receive an Altair Wireless Intercom system it comes ready to be used but it's possible that you, that you need to, to substitute some of the elements or that you just want to, to rearrange your system. If this happens and you find yourself in a situation of needing to register again belt packs to, to the base station, this video will help you. Okay, first of all you need to pay attention to this radio settings section of the base station. Okay, this is going to give us the information of uh, the number of belt packs which are active uh, and registered to, to this base station. In this case, this base station is empty as well as the belt packs. Uh, so we know for sure that uh, we are going to do this this process or this procedure we are going to, um, to do it from from scratch from zero okay so first of all we are going to, to put the base station in register mode okay and how do we do that we need to press this register button this round button we will press it for around three seconds and then the first empty position will start blinking in this case it will be position number one okay when we do that after right after we we start the, the register mode on the base station we will start the register mode on the ball pack okay uh, and then we will explain uh, how to how to start this register mode on the ball pack so first of all register mode on the base station we press for three seconds and we see that this first led is blinking this means that the base station is searching now we press at the same time with our right thumb volume up volume down and just a short activation or actuation of the on button okay as you see now this led is permanently on which means that we have successfully registered this ball pack to the base station okay so I'm going to repeat the process we press for three seconds this register uh, key that's going to activate the register mode on the base station and when we see that one of these LEDs is blinking that means that the base station is searching and then we can activate the register mode on the ball pack okay we are going to repeat this process, this procedure, uh, four times until we fill all the all the um, slots of the base station. So in this case, as you see, I'm leaving this belt pack on. Okay, that's not a problem. And now we are going to press register again for three seconds. And now, as we see, slot number two is blinking. Now we press with our right thumb, volume up, volume down, and we press very shortly the on button we see thanks to this in range uh, led which is blinking very fast that means that the, the ball pack is searching and as we see now we have this this led on not blinking anymore telling us that this ball pack is already registered to the base station if you want to to check if the procedure has succeeded uh, then you can just create a call from the ball pack which should be received here and as well on the other belt pack that we have previously registered okay so we are going to, to finish the, the procedure doing the same on slot number three okay now the base station searching we start the belt pack in search mode as you see blinking fast which means searching and in just a couple seconds the time might, might vary depending on the, on, the, on the device that you have active close to the station but as you see it didn't take long for the belt pack to, to find the station okay we create a call okay everything looks fine and finally we're going to do the same with this number four slot we press register base station is searching and belt pack is searching as you see that very fast blinking of the in range led means that the base that, that the belt pack is searching 
already connected we create a call and that's all we have now all our four bell packs registered to the base station now when we create a call from the base station all the bell packs are receiving it Okay, we have just explained the, the, the process to, to register the compact series bell packs. Now we're going to, to explain the same process but using extreme series bell packs. Okay, so we begin by doing the same. We will just press the register key for three seconds until we have the first empty position blinking. And then we go to the menu of the bell pack and we will just look for function which is called register to base station here it is we press enter and now we choose first select now it's searching and now the bell pack has just confirmed that it has been success successfully register to slot number one we can create a call to verify this and then we could go on to the next ball pack as we did uh, previously with uh, compact series ball packs okay so we're going to to teach you how to erase the memory from the base station so it goes back to to factory default okay so this is really it's really simple in this example we have three leds which are on this is uh, giving us the information that we have three active belt packs registered to this base station so now in order to to erase the memory and have again these three first slots empty we're going to first of all turn off the base station okay we turn off the station and what we, are, what we are going to do now, we are going to press this register button and while keeping it pressed, we are going to start the base station. And we will keep it pressed for another 15 to 25 seconds until all LEDs on the base station, they will blink, giving us the information that the, that the reset procedure has been successful. Okay, so let's, let's just do it. We press register button, we press this on off switch and we, we, we will just wait, okay? We will wait for, as I said, 15 to 25 seconds approximately and then you will see right now all the lights of the base station have just blinked simultaneously. This means that now this base station is empty. In order to, to check that the that this procedure has been successful, and the, what we can do is we, we can just create a call from any of the previously registered call packs, and as we see, the, the base station is not receiving any call. Okay. Well, that's all for today. I hope uh, this video was useful for you. Don't forget to register and see you in future videos.